We wanted um, a new take on sort of traditional love songs. You have to, you have to really feel the song rather than listen to the lyrics. There's heaps of off beats and pseudo, so it's, it's really fun to play. I feel like it takes the audience by surprise a little bit because it starts off in a kind of uh, reggae kind of style. And it kind of like gets people moving and then it just jumps into this punk section that I just love. And I, I love the bit where um, we, go, we play the chorus by like, we play half the chorus like quicker. We got to do a bit more lead work in the song in the background that is really cool because if I've done it right, no one should notice it. To me, it, it, it wraps up what Scarlet Drive is. It's just the ultimate blend of genres that we can call our own sound, really. <laughs> My part in C2, I'm just like We really took that reggae rock um, and that indie punk sound and put it together and it sort of comes out how C2 did. Um, Abusement Park is it's like we always, even when we're recording it, call it like the Dark Horse of the EP. It's the one that seems the most different. Uh, this track is completely different. I think it's a darker one on the EP, um, whereas the other ones have a little bit more bounce to them. Sort of grungy and a bit more ominous and aggressive. It's not a submissive song, it's more of a like rising up and getting angry and throwing your arms around and fighting people kind of a song. Yeah, I feel like it's a good powerful one that you can really, I don't know, push yourself through music with. Abusement Park came about after Michael watched Blackfish, which if you haven't seen, is a very emotionally intense documentary about um, killer whales. It really can delve into bad and dark aspects of life, um, if you take it that way, of course. You can really get in, like, settle into the song. It actually took, I think, one of the longest periods to record because we had so many different layers that we wanted to put into it. With it being the lengthiest song on the EP, we really had a lot of room to experiment. We ended up on the last day with um, three of us out, out of the microphone, uh, putting in all these whisper sounds that we thought would sound really cool and all <laughs> in the middle of the song. To just really build the song together and give it the really pixies, eerie, Eerie feeling about it.